Hi everyone, I'm doing another rant video since you guys seem to enjoy them. This one is gonna be on another big topic in the art community, tracing. For some context, I have been drawing my whole life and I have been posting my art online since 2020. So I can share my experience both as an artist developing my skills offline and as an online artist still developing my skills, but also getting my art traced sometimes. I also made a community post asking you guys for your opinions and stories about tracing, and I'll sprinkle them in here and there. Everything I say here are just my own opinions, obviously. Feel free to share yours in the comments, doesn't matter if you agree or disagree with me. I love having conversations and discussions under these videos. Anyway, let's get into it. So, first things first, what is tracing? It has a lot of different meanings, but in the art community it's referring to when you take a picture, a drawing, whatever, and trace over it. But is it bad? I mean, yeah, but also no. It's really not a simple answer. It depends on how you trace, what you trace, why you do it how you present it. I always say this and I will keep saying it, tracing can be a very useful tool if you know how and when to use it. If you're not stealing someone else's art and you're not profiting off of stolen art, it's completely fine. For example, I have traced poses and bodies before, whether to make sure the body type is accurate when drawing an actual person or to simply save myself some time. The way I did it is I trace the photo reference and then I use the traced body as a guide for the actual sketch. I basically skip a step in the sketching process. I can draw a body from scratch if I wanted to, but sometimes I don't feel like it. I'm not stealing art, it saved me time, the result looks good, success. Sometimes if you do that the body can look disconnected from the rest of the drawing, that's why I go over the traced pose one more time to kind of blend it together more. Unless that's what you're going for. I've seen artists draw stylized heads with realistic bodies. That's a thing too. You can use this method if you're not fully confident in your anatomy or the pose is too complicated for you. As long as you're not stealing, go crazy. Just don't completely rely on tracing. If you blindly trace all the time without giving it any thought or analyzing how it all works, you're not going to improve. Like I said, it's a tool. This comment worded it really well. I've traced things if I can't seem to get it right just from looking at it as a reference. But that's only after I've made a few attempts to draw it without tracing first. And when I do trace, it's with the intention of better understanding the shapes I'm trying to make and teaching my hand how to make the correct movements to achieve the finished look. Also, I never post something traced without giving credit to the source artist and making it clear what I'm trying to learn from doing it. We learn things through mimicking others at a very young age, so I see nothing wrong with doing that as we get older too, as long as we're not trying to take credit for other people's original work. Another way I've traced is tracing over a photo reference again, but instead of outlining it, I break it down into shapes and guidelines, and then I use that as my reference. It's a good way to study anatomy and poses, since sometimes it's hard to tell from a photo. I've actually done a whole video where I did pose studies, and from there I learned that this method actually really helps. You can also trace your own art, like this comment says. I only trace for myself really. Like, do my sketch on paper and then trace it into digital art, cause it's easier for me to do traditional sketches. I used to do that all the time. I was still drawing on my phone and it was hard for me to do the sketch on the smaller screen and the reference window wasn't a thing in IBIS at the time. So I would just do the sketch on paper and draw over it on my phone. Plus, if I really like the sketch, I could just color it traditionally and use it in my sketchbook. Two for one. I agree with this comment as well. Tracing your own art and tracing others are two different things. 
Tracing your own art isn't stealing and is a way that I personally get one thing to look the same way as I drew it before, but I feel like even this kind of tracing gets hate, as if tracing over your own art is bad and is keeping you from improving. It's just a way for me to get my art to look the way I want. That is very true. For example, I can't make my UCs look the way I want most of the times. That's why I don't draw them as often as I would like to. So if I feel like drawing over an older drawing of them I really like, I'm free to do so. It's mine. Or when I was drawing characters from Fiona and Cake, some of them are different versions of the same character, so I just trace their faces to keep them consistent. Again, it's my art anyway. I remember I would get a couple comments like accusing me of tracing my own pickers because the style was the same, even if the angles and poses were completely different from the portrait style pickers or saying that I'm not improving if I don't do the sketches digitally, but like, I still drew the sketch, it was just on paper, and I'm drawing over my own drawing. Then later, when I got a tablet with a much bigger screen, I started doing the sketches digitally because I could actually see what I was doing. <laughs> and ever since the reference window feature was added, I'm thriving. But tracing to learn and just claiming someone's art as your own are completely different things. One is, is finding shortcuts and making the process easier. The other is just theft, especially without credit. My art has been traced quite a few times throughout my career, I guess. Right away I will not be showing any examples because I quite frankly don't care anymore and in case those people happen to watch this video, I don't want to bring it back up for them again. I don't care, it doesn't bother me anymore, but it's on topic so I want to talk about it as well. Anyway, usually how I discover the tracing is through getting tagged in the post, whether it's by the artist themselves or by someone that recognized the tracing. My first reaction would always be to comment something along the lines of Hey, please don't trace my art, you can reference it instead if you want and maybe compliment their coloring or something like that. Most of the times in response I got an apology, the post would be taken down and I never had any issues with that person ever again. Awesome. And that's pretty much the best scenario. But there were a few times where it went more like this. Hey, I can see that this drawing is traced from- Nah. -uh. I can still see that this is traced from- Nah. -uh. I literally drew it 17 years ago on a napkin I found in a dumpster, but only posted it now. I didn't trace. This is the original drawing I made some time ago. They match up completely. <laughs> Actually. That one line over there doesn't match up. So I didn't trace. Look, I can still tell that it's traced. You can reference my art instead. I'm okay with that. It will also help you actually learn. Nah. -uh. Okay. This is kind of a mix of the bad experiences I've had. Again, now it feels really silly to me. Most of the people that traced me were young or beginners or both. And most of their posts barely got any attention, so they weren't taking any credit for me. Hell, some of them would literally tag me as the original. I guess it was just really counterproductive to spend my time arguing about this. I will admit, I would sometimes get into quite lengthy arguments over my traced art. A few times I even shared those arguments on my own profile. Luckily, anyone that went over to the person's account was respectful and pretty polite. I'm so glad that there wasn't any harassment or anything of that nature because I do not support this behavior at all. And now I think it was stupid of me to even get into those arguments in the first place. Unless they built a big platform off of traced art or are profiting off of it, I don't see it as nearly as much of a problem now. But still, please, don't trace my art and call it an OC. I still don't like it. I am okay with the referencing, as that's exactly what I did when I was younger and it really helped. 
plus it's not going to look exactly like my art if it's referenced and you can add your own stuff to it and over time it will change into your own style or at least don't post it if you trace <laughs> i know it could help in studying an art style that i'm okay with just wanted to clarify I feel like often people make tracing out to be much worse than it actually is. This next example is gonna be a little more specific, but I like watching small art drama videos from time to time, and very often in these situations, tracing gets mixed in with way more serious allegations and can even be presented on a similar level of severity, which I think is just... Like, if that person committed an actual crime, I could not care less that they trace your friend's drawing, I'm sorry. Or they accuse the person of art style theft or pose theft or whatever. You can't steal an art style. It would either be tracing or copying or taking inspiration, but you can't 100% replicate another person's techniques and visual style. And don't even get me started on pose theft. There are no original poses and accusing someone of copying or stealing from someone else because they drew the same pose is ridiculous. I feel like it's usually artists that are still growing and are still pretty possessive over their art that make it this big of a deal. There are so many art dramas over just tracing accusations. I mean, I understand I was like this for a while. I agree, it can be incredibly annoying when someone takes a drawing of yours, traces and recolors it, and calls it an OC. I get it. But I think either ignoring it or politely educating them is enough. Some people genuinely don't know it's bad. And don't make it public. It's better to resolve things in private or at least in the comments. But don't get me wrong, it's one thing if it's a kid with like 5 followers tracing, it's a whole different deal when the tracer builds a whole platform of stolen art or profits off of it. I literally saw it on TikTok the other day. <laughs> I noticed it's a pretty big problem on TikTok. And I feel really bad for artists that fall victim to that. It must be very annoying and disheartening. And you can't really do much about it besides maybe spreading awareness since reporting the account probably won't do much. Or so many online shops that sell stolen art on stickers, notebooks, posters and stuff like that. I have a few of those sticker packs from AliExpress and so many of them are just stolen fan art, especially if it's anime stickers. And again, you can't really do much about it as the original artist. It's unfortunate. But it all goes for the art you plan on posting online. There are certain rules on the internet, but offline I believe you can do whatever you want, whatever helps you learn, or maybe you just do it for fun. No one will see it, you are not taking away credit from the original artist, though it would still be nice to acknowledge them, but again, no one will see it. It would also be nice to reach out to the original artist and ask if they are okay with you taking inspiration from them or studying their style, especially if you are planning on posting it. It's a nice gesture to ask first. Personally, I am completely cool with referencing, taking inspiration, studying my style, even if that includes tracing and all that. I am only against just tracing, recoloring my art, and calling it your own. I will not make it a huge deal if it happens, but I still don't like it. Though I don't really understand when established artists are completely against any sort of inspiration or referencing of their art. If you post it online, it's kind of inevitable that someone would at least take inspiration from you, that's how it works in art in general. Plus, it means that someone likes your work if they are getting inspired by it. It's a positive thing. It reminds me of a certain situation where an artist with a very popular art style that has made tutorials on how they draw, by the way, blasted a young artist for drawing similar to them, 
causing them to get harassed and then said they'd do it again and were happy they got clout from it. But anyway, I feel like tracing and copying is just part of the journey for most, if not all, artists. Personally, I remember I would copy pictures of cartoon characters I liked at the time. I did a lot of Winx characters, Powerpuff Girls as well, or random pictures of animals from books I had. Then later I would try and copy Instagram artists I liked. Sometimes it would be to figure out my own art style, or maybe I just liked a specific drawing so much I would try to replicate it. I don't think I traced back then, but it was honestly just because I didn't know it was an option. I wasn't smart enough for that. But it's just my experience. A lot of people share their own on my community post. I think tracing is okay at a certain level. For instance, when I was younger and still learning how to draw in a way that I liked, I would look at those anime how to draw books made for you to copy what they draw and trace them and I would also reference pictures and draw them in my style, which is a great alternative for tracing. No, I think tracing is not okay when you're tracing another person's own art style that has been proven to be their own, and then you post it and claim it as your own. Tracing people's art that they spend their time on isn't okay. Just because you might think their art style is cool, you don't need to copy it exactly, you could just make something inspired by it, but not exactly the same. In my experience, when I was a child, I used to trace Pokemon pictures on top of a computer from screen to paper, and then call it my own so I could get praise and there was nothing else to it. I didn't learn any basic anatomy of the characters, the lines were shaky, and the colors were just poorly applied and copied from the original. Later on, I realized that it would be better to just start practicing more on my own, and I was right. Since then, I improved significantly more than with just tracing the object I wanted to draw without acknowledging the different shapes within the object. So yes, I think tracing can be a good thing, but it needs to be used carefully and for good purposes. Generally tracing is a good way to learn, as long as you credit the original. In school I would trace animals in my Guide to Animals learning book, and it helped immensely. However it is a tool that can be abused. Don't always trace your art. You gotta go freehand sometimes, or else you will be confined in a box. Use tools when needed. Like everything in life, if you use a tool way too much, everything will look like a nail to your hammer. Hope this helps. Oof this is an interesting one. When I started out drawing, I used to find pictures of humans doing poses and trace over them and add my original characters. As well as getting those draw your squad ones and tracing. I personally feel like tracing did help me grow as an artist. But it didn't really help much I think. I can't say that tracing helped me learn proportions for human anatomy or helped me with posing. Something I still struggle with. I really think that if you are a beginner artist, and you strongly believe that tracing will help you, learn then go for it. However, tracing other people's art for learning purposes is okay with me. As long as you don't post it to social media saying that you created it, and not giving credit, cause that's stealing. If you do trace something, and you want to post it on social media, always ask the person who the art belongs to first. I also used to trace other people's art, this time to help me learn, and I do feel like I learned a few little things. So long story short, trace for learning, not for personal gain. I have a long history with tracing. Typically when I do trace, it's either with bases and real life photos because of the posing, and on the off chance I do trace someone else's work it's for the same reason, the pose, but because of social media. TikTok, I remember beating myself down a lot and feeling as if I wasn't a real artist and that I couldn't create anything my own or new and unique. This did lead to me referencing photos by just looking at them a lot more often and trying to break them down, which is a good thing to learn yes, but the means of getting there was not. It's part of the reason I don't really feel comfortable posting speed paints of my art, but honestly as long as you're not outwardly stealing a person's work, I see no problem with it. That actually reminded me that bases exist literally so that you can trace and draw over them if you can't draw from scratch. I definitely remember using my little pony bases in MS Paint in my computer class. I've also seen a lot of bases from anime or Winx Club, 
there are artists that draw their own bases from scratch as well. I have seen some discussions about bases. I know there are people that don't like them and think it's lazy to use them. I don't see any issues with bases personally. Tracing is also a huge part of the animation process, since you're literally going over frames to make sure they line up. Well, rotoscoping is a thing. It's when you literally trace a video frame by frame to make your animations. It can be used for practice or to simply save time. I've done something similar with some of my old South Park animations. Granted, the animation isn't super complicated there, and I didn't trace it exactly. I would just pose it frame by frame and reference that. It didn't look exactly like the original, but it definitely made the process much easier. The animation meme community is also a thing. They literally reference each other and make similar animations to one another all the time. Though some people still start drama over copying or stealing, but that's besides the point. It's usually kids or teenagers that are, like I said, still very possessive over their art. If you post it online, at some point somebody will see it and get inspired by it. It's unavoidable, especially in a community that's all about copying and referencing each other. Okay, I don't really have anything else to add. The opinions on the community post were pretty much unanimous, which is awesome. So, in conclusion, is tracing bad? It's part of the journey, honestly. It's kind of impossible to be an artist without ever tracing or closely copying someone else. And a lot of more skilled and professional artists do it as well. Just don't trace mindlessly, use it as a tool and not a permanent step in your process. Don't use it to steal from other artists and don't profit off of it, of course. It's scummy and very bad. And don't feel like you're not allowed to take inspiration and borrow things from other artists. No one is 100% original, everybody gets inspired by something else, so don't rush yourself to be completely unique and original. Over time your art will change and become more personal to you. And from the other perspective, don't be so possessive over your art being copied or an inspiration to someone else. If you share it online, it will happen one way or another, and it means that people like your work so much that they want to do something similar. Making a huge deal out of it, starting drama, or trying to cancel someone for being inspired by you is, honestly, pretty stupid. On the other hand, if you see someone tracing an artist you know, in my opinion, the best way to go about it is to let the original artist know and politely tell the poster what they're doing wrong. Some people genuinely don't know what's bad. And lastly, if you happen to be the tracer, just be honest about it. Whether it's a study or a piece inspired by someone else, it's always great to credit the original and show them some appreciation. If you get asked to take the traced piece down, apologize to the artist and take it down. If after that they keep talking about you badly when the issue has been resolved already, that's on them, not you at this point. But it's also better to not post traced art without permission in the first place. But anyway, that's all for me for today. If you have more to add, leave it in the comments. This topic can get pretty broad, so I'm sure there are things that I didn't even touch on. Thank you so much for watching. You can like the video, comment, subscribe, all that. Check out my other socials, they will be on the screen and inscription. Stay safe and bye!